The heart's rhythm is controlled by a specialized electrical system, starting at the sinoatrial SA node in the right atrium, our natural pacemaker. The impulse travels through the atria, causing them to contract, then pauses briefly at the atrioventricular AV node allowing the ventricles to fill. Next, the signal moves down the bundle of his, splits into right and left bundle branches, and spreads via Purkinje fibers, triggering a powerful coordinated ventricular contraction. When this system malfunctions, arrhythmias occur. AVNRT is a rapid rhythm caused by an extra pathway near the AV node, creating a short circuit. Atrial flutter features a fast, regular atrial rhythm, like a racetrack in the atria. Atrial fibrillation is chaotic, with disorganized electrical activity, raising stroke risk. Imagine the normal pathway as a well-lit highway. Arrhythmias are detours, loops or traffic jams disrupting the flow. Recognizing these patterns is the first step in treatment. Understanding the heart's electrical roadmap is crucial for diagnosing and managing arrhythmias. This sets the stage for how we approach them in the lab. The EP lab is where arrhythmias are diagnosed and treated with precision. The patient is brought in, made comfortable, and connected to monitors for heart rate, blood pressure, and oxygen. An IV is started for sedation and medications. Nurses review medical history, allergies, and answer last-minute questions, ensuring the patient feels safe. Technologists prepare the recording system, ablation generator, and select catheters tailored to the patient's needs. A sterile field is established, gowns, gloves, and masks are donned, and the groin is cleaned for catheter access. All equipment is checked and calibrated, including the three-dimensional mapping system, which acts like a GPS for the heart. Diagnostic and ablation catheters are laid out ready for use. The team's strict adherence to sterile technique prevents infection. Every member confirms readiness before starting. This careful preparation ensures safety and sets the foundation for a successful procedure. The lab is now ready for action. The journey into the heart's electrical system begins. The procedure starts with vascular access, usually through the femoral veins. Under local anesthesia, sheaths are placed to guide catheters into the heart. Using fluoroscopy, the electrophysiologist navigates catheters to key locations, high right atrium, his bundle, coronary sinus, and right ventricle. Each catheter records electrical signals from specific heart regions. The recording system displays these signals as sharp spikes and waves, revealing the heart's electrical activity in real time. The team monitors these signals to confirm correct placement and assess the conduction system. Technologists optimize signal quality while nurses monitor the patient's comfort and vital signs. This collaborative process is essential for accurate diagnosis. The data collected here guides the next steps in treatment. With catheters in place, the electrophysiologist uses pacing to test the heart's conduction and try to trigger the arrhythmia. Inducing the arrhythmia in a controlled setting helps pinpoint its origin and mechanism. Electrograms change dramatically during arrhythmia, providing vital clues. Three-dimensional mapping systems create a virtual model of the heart, showing where abnormal signals start and travel. Color-coded maps highlight circuits or scar tissue responsible for the arrhythmia. For AVNRT or flutter, the map reveals the re-entrant loop. For complex rhythms, it identifies problem areas. This visualization is key for planning ablation. Technologists ensure accurate mapping and data integration. It's detective work, solving the mystery of each patient's arrhythmia. Once the arrhythmia source is mapped, radio frequency ablation begins. The ablation catheter is guided to the target tissue using mapping and fluoroscopy. Radio frequency energy heats and destroys the abnormal pathway, creating a tiny, precise lesion. The team monitors signals, temperature, and patient status throughout. Multiple lesions may be needed to block the arrhythmia circuit. Success is confirmed when the arrhythmia can no longer be induced. Catheters and sheaths are removed and pressure is applied to prevent bleeding. Nurses monitor recovery, check access sites, and provide patient education on aftercare. This comprehensive approach ensures a safe recovery. The goal, restore normal rhythm and improve quality of life.